Hello, welcome back to Exa Island. I want to share it in here. In this video, I would love to show you how to use the custom sort feature and the automatic sort total in Excel. So, a great database feature of Excel is the ability to sort data. So, sorting data can be a matter of one or two clicks of your mouse and you can make it a little bit more interactive with custom sorts, which is amazing. You can also filter your data as you are sorting. So, to sort and filter your data, what you have to do is select Excel in your data link, be on the home tab on the ribbon bar, under the editing section, you will see sort and filter. Another good feature of Excel is using automatic sort total to easily find the sum, counts, averages, marks, mean, folder, and so on of a large set of data with a few clicks of your mouse. So to also do that, all you have to do is be on the data tab on your ribbon bar. Under the outline section, you will find subtotal. So without further ado, let's jump to Microsoft Excel and let me show you how to use this amazing feature for Excel. But before we get started, if this is your first time on my channel and you love to be in Microsoft Excel Pro with straight to the point tutorials, please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop new content. So let's jump to Microsoft Excel and let's custom source and add automatic subtotals. Hello, so welcome back from the short break. Here I am in Microsoft Excel. I have a very simple data set here with last name, first name, department, states, hours, rate, and wages for some employee. So let's assume I would love to sort by department. All I have to do is select a cell in the words in this data range. Come be on the home tab. Under the editing section, you can see source. I just love to sort from A to Z. Just do that. You see, I've sorted by the department. So we have the executive, finance, and graphics people. So I could also love to sort by state. Just click that. And then come to the year XO. Let's sort this from Z to A. Just click that. Boom. Or you love to sort by hours. You can sell in the hours. Hold on. Come to the place. Search from Sony's largest boom. But wait, what about sorting this all at once? Would you like to sort by last name? Let's say you like to sort by department first, then state, then by last name. We can't be doing that one at a time. That is when you need the custom sort. So again, select any cell in your data again, come to the sort and filter section. Here you find custom sort. Just click that. So the sort dialog box pops up. Let's start sorting by states. So let's state cell values and cell values further large, smallest to largest. Then I'll add another label. Then by after state, you have to sort by departments. Select that again, cell values A to Z. Then I'll go to have another label, then sort by last name. So I can continue adding labels. It is an older version of Excel. You're only limited to three labels, but I can continue to add new labels or add more labels in newer version of Excel. So the technique of for that. So I click OK. You can see. So first we sort by state. So you can see here we have the first letter, which is C. Then we sorted by department, which is D. Then we sorted by last name. You can see. Boom! With a few clicks of the mouse, you got that certain. Another great feature I'd love to show you is adding subtotal. Let's say you love to find by department the total hours incurred by each department. I love to find the average rates incurred by each department. How do you do that? Let me show you how to do that quick. So I, I would love to sort the department first. Let's sort the department from A to Z. You can see we have the executive. Yeah, we have the finance people. Yeah, we have the graphics. So I love to know the total hours incurred by each department. 
then I have to look, I would love to know the average rate in train. So having a cell selected, just come to the data tab on the ribbon bar and then the outline section see a subtotal. Click that boom. So the subtotal dialog box also pops up. So it says at each change in not the last name because the last name is changing also, but I don't want to do that by the last name. I love to do that by the first name. So it's going to give me a total of the executive, then finance, and so on. I would love to use the sum function. If you click here, you can see so many functions here. So now I want to do the sum function, then it's automatically selecting with or select that. I will now select by hours. So we don't have any coins or totals. But I'll show you how to use this feature. Very soon. So let's click OK for now. Boom. See, see what we have here. We have the executive total. So you have the executive total, we have the finance total. You can see the total was in care by the executive, the total was in care by the finance and the graphics and so on and so on. So you could be thinking how do I do that? You could have you would have loved to do this sometime. Maybe you don't know. Is this a great feature to use? You can see there's the words, there's a grouping box here. Eh? If you watch my video on how to group data sets, you should understand it. Or else you can just see the video in the upper section of this video and check it out. So when I select one, you see I have a grand total for the words for all departments in hours. If I select this number two, I have the word, I have the total for each department by what by the hours. Then if I select this number three, I have to call the data set back to its normal. So let's do the same for the word for the rate. Again, just select anyway in your data range. Come to sub total. This time I run by departments. This time I want to do the average. Then by hours, no, by rate. See, here, it's telling me replace coin sub total. Since I have a coin sub total here, I don't want it to replace. I'll just check that box. Then I'll click OK. See, boom. We are the words. We have the executive average also by weights. Boom. We have the final average by weights. We have the graphics average by weights. You see, super fast, super easy. I've done this in a few seconds with a few clicks on the mark. So, if you ever need to find the sum, the averages, the mean, the mass of a large data set, don't do that manually. Use the subtotal feature of Excel. I'm sure you find this amazing to you. So if this tutorial was helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop new content. Bye bye for now and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.